Okay, welcome to our second part, or the second part of our register tutorial. Um, in this part, I'm going to go through checking the existence of these forms. Let me just get rid of these values, or these fields, sorry, that we're typing in. And we're going to do a bit of encrypting of the password. And we're also going to um, be removing HTML tags. Now, bear in mind, consider I'm, considering I'm encrypting, for my login uh, part, which let me just open this here, this login. I'm going to have to make a few adjustments to um, my page here. Um, bear in mind we're taking a password um, raw, like straight from our um, database. So basically what we need to say is we need to change this DB username value and our DB password. And again if you haven't watched the first tutorial you need to to be able to write this code out. Okay so back to our register and um, what we're going to do first is we're going to check for submit now I haven't submit, set a submit variable at the moment so this is going to be equal to dollar sign underscore post okay and our submit and this is because when the user clicks the submit button here the name is submit therefore this will hold a value of register and this will basically say if the user has clicked this button being the data that's submitted from that button then we can carry on our code now the other uh, values we need to get um, are the name of the user so the full name of the user I'm just going to type full name equals post and I believe I called that full name we can see evidence of this here okay so we're just mimicking what names we've given each one so we've got full name, username, password, repeat password okay so we've got full name username username what I'm going to do is whenever I code these I copy and paste them down so password and repeat password so we've got password and repeat password and we can just change these values a lot easier than typing out over and over again. If you are quite new to PHP, I suggest you do type these out again and again, especially if you forget them easily. So we've got all our values here. Um, so if submit, what I'm going to do now is just echo them out to you to show you that these all are, um, all are, you know, have been submitted correctly. I suggest you do this for debugging. You might have spelled something wrong. Uh, it's not good when you're trying to put data that's not there into your database. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say echo, um, let's say uh, the username, and I'm going to just do a slash and password, and then repeat password, and then the full name of the uh, user, and don't forget our line terminator. So we've got all our data here that I have um, extracted from our form. So what I'm just going to do is comment this out and say form data. Um, you should know how to grab this by now. Okay, so I'm just if uh, the form has been submitted, I'm going to echo this data out to make sure it's all there. Okay, so here if I click register, nothing's happening. We can see that when I click it, nothing in fact is being done. Um, what I can do here is just type my full name. Um, I can just type my uh, username. Uh, choose a password. It's going to be A B C for now. Click on register, and nothing's happened. So. If submit post submit ah this is why our form action we need to set a method which is going to be post I forgot to include that so go back and edit this if you're following it through we need a method of post otherwise it's default I believe default get yep you can see it all up here so what I'm going to do now is just refresh this page and then I'm going to retype my data so that's Alex Garrett and this is going to be Alex and then ABC ABC so I click register and my data has been shown here so we can check it's correct uh, my full name was Alex Garrett uh, my username chosen was Alex and I've got ABC here and ABC here now I want to encrypt these passwords and if you read up on Google or any search engine about MD5 encryption that's MD5 let me just write it down for you 
It's a very useful way of encrypting data. Let's just get rid of this because we know everything's right. It's MD5 and this MD5 function in PHP uh, takes a string or uh, I believe it can take a numerical value um, but we've got a string value or just a data value and this is basically going to encrypt it to MD5 encryption. So if say I encrypted Alex to MD5, let's just echo out that and refresh. Uh, I don't want to resend the data so just come straight back from here and re-click on register. Um, what have we got here? Let's see. Uh, if submit, okay, so let's take this out of our condition and refresh. Okay, so that is my name Alex encrypted in MD5. Now it's always the same length and I believe it's impossible to crack unless you encrypt a string and then um, and then uh, you uh, compare it to your your two encrypted values. Now if you don't get this I'm going to put up a tutorial on MD5 encryption so don't worry go ahead and read that or watch that rather. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say um, if submit then um, blah 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 our code but my full name uh, username's fine my password all I'm going to do is just add this MD5 encryption round my submitted um, password and the repeated password don't forget that so then if I echo out um, let's say uh, password and let's have a line break and say repeat password then when I go to refresh or rather when I go to submit my form uh, register um, I'm gonna say my password is ABC and my repeated password is ABC register that you can see that my two encrypted passwords are identical and they're both there ready to put into the database now if someone does say hack into your database um, and finds out people's passwords they can just go well his password was ABC I'll type that in there but at the moment they won't be able to find it because it's encrypted if that makes sense okay so the next thing we're just going to do we've got our passwords encrypted uh, we're going to strip any tags off of our um, off of our uh, data and to use this we, has, we say strip tags uh, there you go strip tags now this will this will strip HTML uh, tags now um, when I'm using my um, password I'm not going to say strip tags before the MD5 function I want the MD5 function to encrypt the already stripped uh, version of my password if that makes sense so that should be fine and let's just copy and paste that down there okay so uh, that's done and we can see that if we go uh, say for example back and I type in HTML here and for my username I'm gonna say body and I just keep my passwords as ABC um, let's go and echo out username and we'll just say break um, full name so echoing out what we've typed in here I'm just going to type test after this and test after this now this strip tags function should get rid of this HTML and this body so we should just have test and test being given to us oh we've got a bit of an error let's go back and check just didn't, do, didn't use a line terminator refresh and resend the data and we can see that we've just got test and test so whatever you type in here as a um, a tag, an HTML tag, or any other tag, it's just blank. So you know, uh, some people be, could be funny and say um, my username is going to be an image. Re register that doesn't work. Isn't echoed up here. Um, but if we say say Alex and we click register, it's taken into account. So that's basically basically that. I've run a bit short of time, so in the next tutorial we're g we're going to be checking that they've typed every single field in, as they are all required for registration. Okay, I'll see you in the next part. Bye.